because the flow of ink, right? And then look at how, how much versatility you can get out of this brush pen. and welcome to another episode of Is It Worth It? where I go around the world and the internet looking for different art supplies to make your artistic journey just a little bit easier and more enjoyable. Now today we are going to the long lost aisles of, well, the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so sometimes I like to try and find the cheaper alternatives to every type of um, art supply, right? And I do find myself going to the Dollar Tree because sometimes they have some really cool looking stuff and I highly recommend that you also go check them out. But sometimes, you know, you just don't want to spend it because you're like, I'm at the Dollar Tree and it's probably going to be bad. But when you do find those gems, it's well worth it. And today I'm going to be looking at this pen, which is their journaling ink micro tip brush pen and for those of you who know i am not a brush person so it might seem as though the critique will be a little bit harsh and whatnot but if you can find a good brush and a good brush pen then you never know what you might actually be able to accomplish with it and so here we are i'm gonna go to the dollar tree and we're gonna find out whether or not this pen is actually worth it so come on let's go check it out all right, so as you can see, not really much to it. It's a nice chipboard, right, with a little plastic coating, and, and that's it. So you really get to see exactly what you are getting. And the one thing that really caught my eye was this tip, this brush tip. And I was like, man, if it looks like that, then this might actually be a really good pen. So I'm really interested, but it says it's a micro tip, so I don't really know if it's really tiny or really big. We're going to find out. It says that it is a no bleed, quick dry, archival ink, performance style and value pen, All right? So yeah, it's from Ink. Ink puts out some pretty good stuff every now and then uh, that we found at the Dollar Tree. And so we're gonna just go ahead and try this. All right. And so once again, Bristol Board 300 series, smooth. This seems to be the best that works for me. All right. Let's get out of here. All right, so uh, I don't like it when the pens or the plastic that used really feels like plastic, right? Like there's plenty of plastic. Most of the pens and stuff are made out of plastic, but there's sometimes there's a cheaper plastic and sometimes there's a thicker, high quality plastic, and this feels like plastic. And I'm going to assume that's because it is stuff that ends up in the Dollar Tree, and so they got to keep their costs down but it just, it feels plasticky. So it's something that you definitely have to know. Uh, it has a nice, I mean, it's a regular size pen. You know, if you've used Micron pens, it's about the same width as a Micron pen. So maybe just a little bit thicker, but alas, you know, it's, it's a regular size pen, just feels a little plasticky. Um, the, the little handle thing is, it moves which I guess is cool. It's weird, like I always break these off because they never really stay, so. So let's see. It's got a great snap, did you hear that? Ooh, that's a nice snap. Wow, look at that pen. You guys see that, look at that. That is a tiny little brush and it is super sharp. Like that tip is so sharp. Wow, that's interesting. Let's see if it posts first. Okay, post, shake, doesn't come off, so that's good. As we've already found out, it's got a nice snap to it. Don't really have to worry about it drying off. Wow, that tip though, that, that thing is crazy. Okay, so let's see what we can do with this thing. Ooh, whoa. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, so the the actual brush itself is a bit firm. Actually, it's pretty firm. It's, that is a nice firm tip. And the ink flow on this thing is fantastic. 
Wow, look at that. And that's like not even pushing. So you can get, you know, you add a little pressure. Man, look at how opaque that ink is. This is, wow. Like that is crazy. Wow, the ink, I mean the ink flow on this thing, it just, it just keeps going. Let's see, and is it dry? That's pretty dry. I mean, I can tell that it's quick drying. It doesn't mean that it's instant, right? So you can still, like I saw where it was actually a little bit wet, so you can pull it off. But for the most part, that's really quick dry. Uh, dry. So let's see. Uh, we're going to scribble something. We're going to pull some teeth out, I guess. Right, there's a nose. It was there, not it's like no, <laughs> right? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's crazy the, the speed that you can do with this pen is crazy because the flow of ink. Right, and then look at how how much versatility you can get out of this brush pen. Right, you can do these itty bitty thin lines, right? And then you can push down and get some really nice thick lines. Right, and the ink flows really nice, very solid, very opaque. Dries a little bit lighter than when it goes down, but that's to be expected when it comes to ink but this is so nice and then the brush it is like i said it is flexible in order for you to get these kind of lines here so if you constantly are making lines like this on one side if you rotate it around then on the other side you can keep it nice and thin and light right so you can get these really thin lines but i mean this look here. you know you've got a lot of variations that you can get with your lines so that's i mean whew, that's great all right so i mean let's let's draw out a couple lines okay and we'll pull we'll pull a couple markers from the corner over here uh, and we'll do Okay, so we got three different markers. We have an Ohuhu, an ink, right? So this is their, their markers. So we got ink markers, Olo, and touch markers. We're gonna try those and see how they smear, if it smears any of the, the ink, right? It says it's dry. Ooh, that, that wasn't good. <laughs> so the, might not be meant for, for marker consumption. Yeah doesn't doesn't look like it wants to be marker friendly I might have to try a different oh -hoo -hoo. no okay so maybe just certain ones let me try a different oh -hoo -hoo. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try a light color with oh -hoo -hoo. Okay, so the the marker itself, the ink marker, does not like the ink micro tip brush pen at all, right? It just smeared everything everywhere. Did not like that at all. Then we did uh, the touch marker. It also smeared the ink, so this doesn't work well with this marker um, as far as having to go over it, right? Like. If you put your marker down and then ink over top, you should be fine. But if you have the ink first and then pull the marker, it's just, it's gonna pull on your uh, on your ink. The touch it wasn't bad. I mean, just in some, but it is pulling. So it's like pulls on everyone where the ink one, it just it obliterated the pen as far as pulling the ink. 
the Ohuhu, I mean, I was looking at this one because it was a little dark, so it didn't really, couldn't really tell, but in the red, it's not pulling, and in the yellow, it pulls a little bit, it pulls a little bit, but not very much, right? So Uhuhu is a good, safe bet. But the one that stands out that's not actually pulling anything is the Olo marker. So this pen with Olo, right, with a bright color, works just fine and it's not pulling the ink up at all. So there are marker types out there that you can you can get. So, you know, the cheaper version would be an Ohuhu marker because those are relatively cost friendly. And then, you know, if you go for a more high-end professional marker than the Olo marker, which does nothing to this pen. So, I mean, this is a very nice, versatile pen and works really well with Olo markers. So, if you're looking for a pen, you may have just found it. All right, so we just got done looking at the Ink Micro tip brush pen and I have to admit I'm gonna go out and go buy some more <laughs> I this is really nice pen it's great it says it's for journaling so I can see why uh, but it's got a lot of versatility in it the the nib is fantastic right it, it's it's firm but still it's got a lot of flexibility in it and especially if you start using it for a thicker brush stroke you can then flip it over and then use the Kind of smooshed inside to have a really nice thin line the ink flow on this thing is absolutely insane it is well worth the dollar 25 that you're gonna pay for this uh, if you are looking for a brush pen go check out the Dollar Tree's ink micro tip brush pen this is absolutely worth it <laughs> well Thank you guys so very much for being part of this episode. I hope that you learned something or was able to get some type of information from this video. And if you did, go ahead and give me a like. <laughs> if you'd like me to actually review something that you were looking at in the store and you weren't too sure if you want to buy it or not, please drop it in the comments below and I will add it to the list. If you by chance are new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you can get noti notified every single time that I drop new content. Thank you all so very much, and I will see you at the next episode.